hi this is an update of a video I uploaded earlier on on YouTube on how to create a Wi-Fi hotspot on your computer or on your laptop so that your Android phone will be able to connect to this wireless network that you've created now to make this successfully make sure you have an active internet connection okay now the first thing we're going to have to do is to click on start and you type view network connections so we click on view network connections here then this window opens i'm going to explain something here i have three connections here my local area connection wireless network connection and wireless network connection too now for this thing to go through successfully you need a microsoft virtual wi-fi mini port adapter this comes with most computers when you run windows 7 on them it was sort of something that came with windows 7 so most computers running on windows 7 have a microsoft virtual wi-fi mini port adapter so when you look over here i have a local area connection then the name of my um, local area connection adapter and i have wireless network connection then the name of my wi-fi adapter that's the qualcomm at Athros. then over here under the wireless network connection too I have the one that we need the microsoft virtual wi-fi mini port adapter so before you go through this process make sure you have a microsoft virtual wi-fi mini port adapter now what all that we're going to do is that we're going to share the internet connection that we have on our computer over a wi-fi so i have my internet connection to the local area connection so i'm going to have to right click on this select the right click go to properties then you navigate to sharing then under the sharing let me drag this here you click on allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection then you click on this drop down menu you see that when i click on this drop down menu i have two connections here because my first connection is the one from my adapter itself that's the Qual qualcomm Athros. then the second one is the one that we need the microsoft virtual wi-fi mini port so i'm going to share this connection over the Microsoft virtual Wi-Fi mini port. So note the name assigned to this adapter, minus wireless network connection two. So over here, I'm going to choose wireless network connection two. If yours happen to be a different name, just make sure that the name that you choose here tallies with the name that is assigned to the Microsoft virtual Wi-Fi mini port. This is simple. If it's the name here is the, and the name here is what you see here. So just select that connection, then click OK. If the process is successful you see that i have shared over here it means that i have shared the active internet that i have on this connection if you happen to be using a modem it means that you will not be using a local area connection but you're using a different connection probably a dial up or anything so you will see the name of your isp here so you are going to right click on that one and choose shared so it, it might be the name of your isp provider so make sure that you have already activated the internet on your modem then you share the internet the second thing we're going to have to do is to click on stats type cmd to open command prompts then we need administrative privileges to go through this process so you right click on this and you choose run as administrator you see a small window that pops up that do you want to allow the following program to make changes to blah blah blah, blah. just choose yes so when this goes through the command prompt opens now we are going to input a few commands which i have already added to this video first highlight the first command make sure you start highlighting bef right before the end and end after the d just copy this command here come here then you just paste the command okay now after you paste the command you see that i have something like ssid then i have name then I have key, I have password, okay? So you can modify this name field and this password field to whatever you want to use. If you want to use your name, you can type your name here under the name. If you want to use the pass, change the password, you can just enter the password that you want to use here. But I want to tell you to be very careful here because if you change everything and you happen to change the default code, it wouldn't work, okay? So I'm going to just go to this column. If you want to change the name, make sure that it, Kessa is blinking right after the E. So just erase that and type the name of your Wi-Fi network you want to create. I am using Larry, okay? So I just type Larry. After that, if you want to change 
this password you just erase the password field and you just type your password you want to use i would advise you to use a password an alphanumeric password probably about 10 characters because i tried using other passwords which didn't work so you can just use a password of this format so the ssid is a name that is going to appear as your wi-fi network and the key that you see here is the password that the person or anyone would have to enter in order to get access to this internet connection you are creating so when this is done you just click enter when the process is successful you see the same commands that i have here the hosted network mode has been set to allow the ssid of the hosted network has been successfully changed the user key paraphrase of the hosted network has been successfully changed the next thing you're going to have to do is to come here just copy this command highlight this command you right click you copy you come here just right click here and choose paste the reason why i'm just copying the command from notepad and pasting it in DOS is because sometimes if you try to type these commands you might leave out something so just copy the command as it is in the video then just paste it in your DOS. you can just copy and paste okay so when you do this you just hit you input a second command you just hit the enter key if this is successful you see the hosted network started this is simple so when you finish you click down here wow you see the new internet you created i use the name larry so the name assigned to my wi-fi network is larry so i'm just going to try to connect to this network on my phone so you just on your wi-fi on your phone you will see your the name of the network you created try to connect with it then if you have you asked to enter the password just type the password that you created if you happen to forget the password you can just go through this process again now there's this thing i want to teach you in order to get this process running you need to start the wi-fi hotspot if you are done you want to shut it down you just copy the third command it is the same here just that we have the stop you copy it you paste it here and hit enter then stopped so you see that when I come here, I no more see the name of the wireless I created. Now, it's sometimes boring to have to copy this command, paste it in DOS if you want to start it. When you're done, copy it again, paste it to stop it. So I'm just going to show you a quick method to do this. You're going to create icons on your desktop where you can start the Wi-Fi, just like I have here, start Wi-Fi, stop Wi-Fi. So right-click on anywhere on your desktop, go to new, and navigate to shortcuts. So you can type the name of the shortcut this is what we're going to use to start the wi-fi so start let's say start my wi-fi okay just click next oops sorry um you have to rather enter the command that you want to use here so i am using let what wlan start so that's the location i just paste this here then you click on next okay after the next this is the name that you want to use for the shortcut so this is where i should have typed my stats my wi-fi then finish okay then the second one is to stop it so the same process you go to shortcut then you copy the one for stop paste then next then stop my wi-fi Yeah, these icons are a bit boring so if you want to you can change the icons right click go to properties go to change icon there are a variety of icons here you can just use any icon you want to. i just like the power button because it just designates that i'm starting something okay there's a shortcut I use. you can just click on the icon press alt enter and it opens the dialog box you go to change icon don't worry about that command can just come here and choose anything else you want okay so apply then okay so if you want to start a wi-fi you don't just double click if you double click it wouldn't work when you come here you see that it's not started what you have to do is to right click and choose run as administrator so when you do that you see that a windows control pop will come just click yes so after that when you click here you see that my wi-fi 
name is now here Larry if you want to stop it the same process just right click on as administrator yes and it stops okay now I would want to do a little troubleshooting here to help some people there's a very common command a very common error that people get when they input this first command we have here people have errors like the hosted network could not be started the group or resource is not in the correct state to perform this request this is it's just a normal command okay that comes it's an error let me say that comes if you have a problem with your Microsoft virtual network okay so where we saw the network connections let me go there again view network connections so if you have this error come here and make sure that this wireless network connection to or whatever yours the name is make sure that the Microsoft virtual Wi-Fi mini port is here if you don't have anything like Microsoft virtual Wi-Fi mini port here that is when you have that problem okay now sometimes this thing is disabled so when it's disabled and you come here you see that all the other connections are working but this particular Wi-Fi is or this particular virtual Wi-Fi is not working so when it's not working and you try to input the command we typed earlier on you, you see that it wouldn't work okay now what you have to do is to right click this make sure that it's enabled so if you have that, that problem just come here disable it enable enable it again sorry then what you have to do if it still doesn't work you go to your device manager okay you can there's a shortcut for device manager you can just go to run or oh, okay sorry you can click here type run click run then type dev management to so dev mgmt.msc it opens the device manager if you want to go through the the long process to probably you don't like the commands you can right click here go to properties when this opens you click device manager okay so let me op make this big then go to network adapters if you have a question mark or any symbol on this microsoft virtual wifi mini port adapter this process will not go through so you have those kind of errors if you have that problem or if you don't see it here if you don't see this here at all just right click here and scan for hardware changes you might see it now working if it's here enabled and it's still not working all you have to do is just right click this then update the driver so you have to connect to the internet just let Microsoft automatically search this updated driver software for you so if you're having that problem it means that probably the microsoft virtual wifi mini port adapter does the driver controlling this adapter might be updated so when it's outdated it wouldn't work so just right click here and update the driver so windows um, updates normally if you have your windows updates already activated it's updates automatically but if not then it means that you have to come here and update this manually thank you very much if you have any problem um, seeing yourself through this process just let me know and I'll be willing to help you thank you very much bye bye